Hello everyone, welcome back to this How I Solved It video series of clinical SAS programming. So we frequently calculate change from baseline, but there can be cases wherein we may have to calculate the change from the previously available non-missing result. So in this video, we will see how to derive it. So here on the right hand side, if you see, I have the final output data set that we are going to create. So here we have data for multiple subjects or uh, for glucose parameter collected over different days. So what we are looking for here is, so we are looking for the change from the previous value. So it's not change from baseline. So from each record, the, we are trying to calculate the change from the previous value. So here if we see on day one, so we have a value of 120. So the result prior to it is 123. So 120 minus 123 is minus three. So we are supposed to populate it as minus three here. And then here we have a value of 132 for subject 1001 on day eight. So we have to subtract this 120, the previous non-missing value is 120. So from 132, 132 minus 120 is 12. So we are supposed to populate 12 here. And then similarly, so we have data for subject 1002. As this is the first, very first record for this subject. So there is no concept of change from the previous non-missing result. So we'll have to leave that value as null. So this is how it will be. And then we have the next case. So where we have the value um, day 8 as 152 and the previous non-missing result on day 2 is 154. So 152 minus 154 is minus 2. So we will have to apply the logic this way and then populate it for all subjects and parameters whichever we have. So let us see how this is achieved using the programming. So I am sorting my input ADLB dataset based on subject ID, param CD and ADY and then storing the result in ADLB01. So this is simply an ordered data set of our ADLB01 based on the values present in use of JD, param CD and ADY. And here comes our core step. So basically what we need to do is we need to retain that last non-missing value onto the current record and then obtain the difference. So we are achieving that here using retain option and then uh, on every first record of parameter of a subject, we are setting the previous eval as missing. So we are creating a variable called previous eval and we are setting that to null for every first record of a subject and parameter because we do not want the values of a different parameter to be carried forward onto the current record of that subject and param CD. So we are setting the previous eval to null when the parameter changes within a subject and then is our logic. So we are checking if both previous eval is not null and eval is not null using nmiss function. So nmiss function returns the number of variables with missing values on a particular row. So when we have both the values populated, the return function would be zero. So we can calculate the difference only when both of them are present. So we are checking if both of them has a value using nmiss function and equating it to zero. And then if that is the case, so we are subtracting our previous eval from the eval. So which is previous eval stores the value from the previous non-missing result and onto the current record. And then we are subtracting that value from eval and storing it in diff variable. And then this is the core logic of retaining the value from previous record onto the current record. So we are checking if eval not is equal to missing then previous eval is equal to eval. So the val if eval is not null, so it gets retained. So even before the value of previous eval is overwritten, so we are getting our difference here. So this value 123 would be retained here and then we are obtaining the difference and then we are overwriting the previous eval value uh, with the value of 120 onto that current record. So this is how you can calculate the change from previous non-missing result. So let us go back to ADLB02. So there was a specific scenario wherein we had a missing result in between. So here if we see one for subject 1001 on day one, the result is 101. 
and there is no missing uh, there is no result available on day 8 so there is a missing value so the requirement was to use the last non missing result so when coming to day 10 so there is a value of 110 so we need to subtract the previous non missing value which is 101 110 minus 101 is 9 so this code handles that logic as well so you cannot use lag function because if you use lag function what happens is it pulls the last available value from the previous record itself so it will become 110 minus missing so it would return the value of missing on this record so which is not correct so you will have to employ some similar logic that we have used here so this 101 gets retained onto the record with the value of 110 and then 110 minus 101 will become 9 here so this is how you will have to calculate so thank you for watching and keep learning